what's up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video now as you can tell by the title today i'm taking you through a full week of workouts i'm showing you exactly what my week looks like um, this week and moving forward now of course i will put everything down below in the description box my exact workouts but i'll also include a little preview on the screen so you can see that as well now let's jump into this workout we are starting off with some cardio. I do like to start it off, get my body loose, get it warmed up and ready to go, even though I don't need all that extra because it's so hot out here. But all my cardio will be walking on the treadmill. Here is a little preview of my warm ups. You won't see me warming up um, throughout the rest of this video, but I just wanted to include that clip because I do warm up before every workout. Now starting off with some cast glute bridges. These are different from hip thrust because hip thrust is all the way down, all the way up. Now with the glute bridges, it's a little bit less of a movement um, just because I want all the focus to be on my glutes. This is a glute and a hammy workout and when you're doing full hip thrust, you'll feel that in your quads as well. But here, I just wanted to tackle glutes only. Next up, we are moving into RDLs. Now, what I just put on my wrist, they're called Versa Grips. Um, it just helps with gripping the bar better, um, especially if you have weak forearms or if your hands are a little bit sensitive. Versa Grips, look it up on Amazon, they're amazing. Now, these are more so glute focused, glute and hamstrings, of course, but um, definitely focusing on glutes, so I'm putting, pushing my butt back behind me as if there was a wall behind me and there's a little bit more knee bend. Also, you don't have to go all the way down. It just kind of depends on your own personal range of motion. For me, I have to go down at least mid shin to really feel that stretch in my glutes. Then we're on to reverse deficit lunges. These always kill my glutes. If one exercise makes my glutes sore, it's this one. Now, of course, you wanna try not to push off that back leg and try to put everything into your front foot that's planted on the plates or box or whatever you're using. Um, but of course, the stronger you get, the less you'll be pushing off that back foot. Also, you don't need to be very high for these. I just stack two plates on top of each other and that's good enough. You'll still feel that stretch all the way at the bottom. And also hinge forward. Hinge forward so we can, you know, we're focusing on the glutes. And then lastly, I'm finishing up with some lying hamstring curls, I'm making sure to slow it down, come up quick, go down slow to really keep that tension on my hamstrings. All right, day two, we got shoulders. Now, actually three of, the, three of my workouts this week I did with Teron, my boyfriend. We never work out together, but we, we worked out three times together. So yeah, so today I'm hitting shoulders with him. Starting off with some standing overhead press. Now, he wanted me to do 15 and 20 of these joints and it just felt so heavy. He had to help me and he had to spot me through the rest of it, but. Standing shoulder press, try not to use your legs. Um, this is more of like a strict press, but you do see me kind of pushing up a little bit just because it started to get heavy. <laughs> see my face, I was over it. That was the first set and I was like done. But there are four of these and by the time I get to like rep number like nine eight or nine i feel like i can barely move so he helped me through the rest of them if you got a spotter get that then we're moving over to some lateral raises we're using the machine this time um if you don't have a lateral 
machine, lateral raise machine, you can do some dumbbells, but try to keep your shoulders relaxed. I need to tell myself that because sometimes I keep a lot of tension in my traps. Then over to some cable face pulls. You wanna keep the elbows high. Everything up high, pulling towards your face. Also hold it for that squeeze at the top. We're hitting those, we're hitting those delts, the upper shoulders. And then over to single arm dope flies i guess you would call it and look this is why we don't work out together childish <laughs> and pull them with your elbow on this by the way just think about jamming your elbow behind you and then lastly i decided to throw in just a little bit of abs um, Pilates is usually my days, my two days a week when I hit abs, but I'm actually only doing Pilates once a week now because I just kind of want to be in the gym. So I just threw in a couple abs at the end of shoulders. And now we got Pilates and cardio. Um, obviously the Pilates, I can't walk you through this workout, but this one killed me. You see us doing arms right now, but this was mostly legs and glutes and my glutes were on fire. I was shaking. I've never taken as many breaks as I did this workout and I only got like a couple clips. Like you guys didn't see all of the, the rest of the work that we went through, but everybody in the class was dying. We were all dying, but it was so good. And the thing is, is when I watch it back, the, motion, the movements are so small. It looks like I'm barely doing anything and I promise you it was burning so bad. Like the motions are just like so tiny. And even at the end, you'll see when I'm hitting like some abs, it looks like I'm barely moving, but I promise you. And then after Pilates, I did go home and then immediately jump on the treadmill and just walked it out for about an hour. I usually will walk before Pilates, but I didn't get out of bed. So we did it afterward. So dark in here. Oh, I hate this overhead light. So annoying. But anyways, today is pretty much rest day or cardio day, not rest day. And I don't feel like going downstairs to my apartment gym, so I'm just gonna get some steps on my walking pad and read, because I've just kind of been reading and chilling all day today. Apple Watch on my ankle, and now I'm gonna go get my walking pad and set that up in the living room. Now on to day four, we got back day. This is second day of me and Tron training together. And we actually filmed a video for his YouTube channel. So I'll make sure to link it when it's live. Um, but starting off with some cable lap pull downs. One of my favorites. Back day is just always my favorite. But this one was kind of like back and shoulders. Like he, of course he threw in some shoulder exercises, but it was back day. And then on to single arm rows. Um, 
I swear he'd be thinking I'm stronger than what I am. He wanted me to do these 45s for 15 reps and it just wasn't happening. So um, I had him drop the weight down and then I hit 15 each arm. He was killing me with these reps. Every time we worked out together, it was so high. Okay, so this is why I say we move over to start hitting some shoulders, but kind of like upper back. Um, he had me doing shrugs. This was actually my first time really doing shrugs. And I was I was struggling with the motion for some reason. I think going right from rows to this exercise, I felt like I wanted to row. Um, so I had to end up dropping the weight later, which you'll see. And then right into some upright dumbbell rows. Again, we're hitting shoulders, but we're also hitting delts, upper back, all of that. So here's when I had to drop the weight down and then I was really trying to get that motion down, but every part of me wanted to bend my elbows and roll it back, but you know, we'll get it. <laughs> and so these were a superset. So as soon as you were done with the shrugs, go right over to the upright rows. And obviously if you don't have that machine that I was using, you can do shrugs with some dumbbells or a bar. And we were dying in this gym. We went to a different gym and you, you can see the sweat. And then some hyper extensions. These suck so bad. They seem, <laughs> this seems like the most basic exercise ever and they are killer. Especially for 20, I was like, oh, I'm about to pass out. Look at me, look at me, struggling. <laughs> done. Look at my face, I was done. Here we go, last day. Is this the last day? Yeah, this is the last day. Um, quads and glutes, starting off with some leg extensions. Um, he actually joined my workout. This was me working out on my own and he didn't feel like working so he just started following me around the gym. <laughs> I've been really focusing on slowing down my movements because, I'm, you know, training like an athlete, everything is just like quick, quick, quick. I'm trying to focus on a very slow holding, time under tension kind of movements. And then onto hack squats. Um, actually, I had I did one set of these, and then my knee started to bother me. I don't hack squats. I just really want to get into, but my right knee just. Ooh, does, does not like it. So I end up dropping the weight down to 25 so I can get a little bit deeper. And yeah, it was still, it still sucked. And then on to leg press. Now this one is a little bit higher than a normal leg press, but still, if you, to hit those glutes, you want your feet higher up on the platform and about shoulder width apart. And when I say go all the way down, like my knees are pushing my boobs, okay? All the way down so you can really feel that stretch in the glutes. Here's just me on the side so you can see what it looks like all the way down. And it's really stretching that glute. And I was struggling. You'll, you'll see the next clip. I was done by the time I got to this. Okay, so I ended up cutting today's workout a little bit short just because I was not feeling good. Not feeling good. I feel like if I did one more exercise, one more set, one more rep, I was going to pass out or throw up. One of the two. So um, it's definitely important to listen to your body, especially out here in this heat, in this Texas heat. I had a solid week. But for those of you who are feeling fine and following my same week, 
I was missing step ups. So that's the last exercise that I would have done. Um, I will make sure to put all the info down below in the description box for each workout, my sets and reps and all of that. Um, so step ups is what was missing to kind of close out today's quads and glutes. So still need to do cardio because I didn't even get a chance to do my cardio yet. And then same thing was yesterday, just because me and Teron were training together. Um, I didn't end up doing my cardio yesterday either. So tonight I'm gonna go and do about probably like an hour of walking. So if you don't see me walking, <laughs> a clip of me walking later is because I edited and got this video up today. Um, but I will do an hour on my walking pad or I'll go downstairs to my apartment gym. This video was a voiceover, but um, since I'm here, might as well close it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's continue to get this work. I'm in full gym mode. It just feels good to be back in the gym, even though I don't feel good right now. Um, but I, I definitely feel I'm getting tighter, getting leaner, and I'm excited for it. So, but I'll see you guys in the next video.